Now, the one thing that you have been watching, I'm sorry, <laughs> besides House of the Dragons, that we can actually talk about. The boys. Yeah, which surprisingly enough, like, she doesn't watch it. He has, he's not caught up. So, I'm like, it's just. Surprised Gary doesn't watch it. Yeah. That's really up his alley. It, and, like, this most recent season, he knows a lot about it, too. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, the comic. Yeah. He don't really ask. Should. I don't understand that, man. Um, the most recent season, fucking crazy. <laughs> season Dude. five was not what I was expecting. Granted, it's not as hype as, like, some of the previous seasons, but. Not my favorite season. Not my favorite season, no. No. But not a bad season. I don't know how, I don't know how you one up or, uh, Hero Gasm, but. I get it. That season was insane. That just episode. Yeah, because it was a season that had Soldier Boy. <laughs> Spoiler warning. He's still alive. He's back. Dude. I actually, like, he's a piece of shit, but he's a funny piece. Mm -hmm. We got some really, like, crazy, like, huh, where do I, where do I want to start? Uh, Frenchie's having existential crisis. Mm -hmm. Turns out he's... Bi? Yeah, apparently it's bi. I mean, I believe didn't know that, that, but that's sense. cool. Yeah. Um, he fell in love with the survivor of a family that he killed in the past, mm -hmm. which was crazy. Turns out that that the kid was just hiding under the bed the whole time. Yeah, fucking, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I have thoughts about that whole subplot though, but I'll let you. Keep going. Oh, like with just like what what I thought about it. Okay, seems a little unnecessary and useless. A little, yeah. In hindsight, that whole storyline didn't really go anywhere. No, like, and it feels like it should though. Yeah, I like, think it's the only whole connection to the Russian mob, but like, yeah, they didn't introduce that other Russian chick, and I think that would have made more sense. Yeah, because she wasn't in the season at all, mm -hmm. which is weird. Because I like her. I mean, <laughs> I think she's interesting. And then now we get like another introduction to another relative. Yeah. For Kimiko. Yeah, then that was weird too. I think the whole thing was to set up the Frenchie and Kimiko scene at the end, <laughs> and like. I get it. Yeah. But I think that just that extra character was a little underused. How do you feel about that it took us five seasons to find out the truth as to why Kimiko doesn't like to talk? Um, why does she doesn't talk? I always... So I didn't really question why she didn't talk. I essentially just assumed that it was trauma from what she... Like what she experienced. Well, they, no, no, no. So I think it was like season two. I think it's the season when they introduced her brother. Mm -hmm. And he explains it to Frenchie once, like why she doesn't talk anymore, mm -hmm. and like because like that's what she told him. Yeah, but that was she, that wasn't the reason. truth. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, no, I. That's where I got that idea from. Okay, but I mean, like I was okay with that being the reason. So I guess that this this new revelation hits a little bit more now. I guess a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it was it was really nice getting to hear her talk. I did want that on like my show bucket list for things that I oh, want yeah, to see happen. Yeah, obviously, I needed to hear her say something. Finally why? got that. Why did it have to be that? But why did it have to be that? I was scared that I got spoiled for the final scene of that season for season five because I saw a scene or just like a picture on Twitter of Kimiko like on the ground essentially being like detained mm -hmm. and she was screaming no, no. So I like got spoiled that she uh, talked and then I saw that it was Frenchie related and I was like, oh my God, they killed Frenchie. I really, really thought that I was going to see like a Frenchie death with that scene. And I right think now, understand Frenchie's like a... He's a threat. <laughs> He's a boy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that doesn't have powers. Yes. Well, just like I, he's pivotal to the show. Mm -hmm. Like he, we need him. I and I would be okay if they kill him off next season. I just didn't. I don't want to see it. I want him to live. He's one of my favorite characters. Same. I think Kimiko and Frenchie are my two favorites, probably. Mm, Kimiko and Huey. Huey's good. He's growing on me so much. He had a lot of growth this season. Mm -hmm. I would say. Man, yeah, no, that's true. Whenever he his whole subplot with his dad oh. broke my heart. The subplot with his, his dad, mom was coming back, dude, about to relive some trauma. Yeah, no, that was really sad because the dad did not deserve that ending. He was a good guy the entire show. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't do nothing wrong. He just wanted to bond with his son and be the best dad he could be. Then he turned into a murder bot, <sighs> dude. Him with those powers was fucking. Terrifying. Yeah. You know, really, I told Bobo this when we were watching. He's like, you know, realistically, it's a good thing that Mario from My Hero knows how to control his power because that's probably what he would be doing mm -hmm. to people. Mm -hmm. You just. Yep. You know? Just pays into the middle of him and just. Now I'm solid again. That's really broken. Yeah. If you think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no crazy shit, though. Um, How did you feel about everything Homelander related? 
Uh, like him getting old, having midlife crisis. The pube collection. The, uh, the gray hair. Yeah, pube collection. What the hell? I don't know if you caught this. Um, like there was, uh, I think like in the first episode, like he's going to the bathroom. Um, it's not a solid stream. So he's oh, got, he's I got do some remember prostate that. issues. What's her name? Called him out on it. Who? Um, Sage. Oh. When like they first meet, like oh, she damn. could tell that like he was he has that's funny prostate issues that it's getting old. Yeah. Yeah. That's really funny. Um, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm just I'm very uncomfortable with like the relationship with him and Ryan. It makes me uncomfortable I don't so like much, it, yeah. and like I feel so bad for that kid, Dude, that especially kid. in that last episode. Oh no! Like seeing Grace, her, seeing Aunt Grace. Grace fall in love with him, and be like you filled the void for like my, like my grandkids. She meant it. She did. He just felt scared and threatened. Like he's tired of being used all, as a weapon. All they had to do was just let the kid go, take a breather, let him assess. Like like yeah, they the were man just, just realized that he's a rape baby. Yeah. Oh my God. Mallory should not have brought no, that up. No. Right in there. That's something you you gradually you, work towards. Yeah. Or you die with the lie. Yeah. Honestly, I probably would have. Yeah, that would have been better mm -hmm. in my opinion. He doesn't need to know that. No. So now, like, he won't trust anybody. Nope. Like, he's literally probably on its own. I think it's gonna be an external character or a side character that ends up having an interaction with him and hopefully, you know, bringing some sense in. Let it be Kimiko. That's the perfect person. I'm trying to think who would be a good person to like kind of relate to him in terms of like family issues, but also while being a soup. Mm, mm, a train, bro. A train's arc is wild. Yeah. A train went from like probably one of the more hated characters in the show to a super hated character to a in the show. Super hated character to like a pretty well redeemed mm -hmm. character actually now. Like I can confidently say I definitely like A train now. I hated A train in two and three same one two and three yeah, I, was, I didn't well, like him in one i hated him in two and three <laughs> like one was we got the introduction for a train was yeah no he fucking sucked and honestly anytime that something bad would happen to him i'm gonna be like good you suck mm -hmm. i don't like you and i remember in like two or three i was thinking to myself i'm like dude like it's gonna be hard to make me like this character because mm -hmm. it just sucks and they did a good yeah. job. No, like I like the the flip that he's doing. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, man. The scene when he drops off um, M -M -M. at mm -hmm. the hospital and, and the, the kid, kid sees him, him, I was like, oh, there it is. Beautiful. That's exactly he just, what we he need. just saw the magic. Yep. Like that. That's what it means to be a hero. No pictures. No photography. No, no glory. You do it for the sake of saving lives. Yes. Then that's. I think that's something that the show desperately needed. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time like a genuine save happened. Yeah, you know everything oh, is so televised. <laughs> Remember when they tried to televise like Ryan's first save? Oh my god! Oh boy, did they televise? Oh, that? you know what's funny? <laughs> that guy that does that was like doing like the stunt coordinating. He's the actual stunt coordinator for the series. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. I like when shows do that shit. That's badass. Um, quick question: How would you feel if somebody was so devoted to you? They were to. They were willing to take a cocktail of different medication just to give you something you really enjoy. The firecracker thing. Was <laughs> firecracker is my least favorite character now. Her in the deep. I'm not gonna. No, the deep is my I least favorite. Deep. I, I hate, hate the deep. deep There's bro. nothing. That's one that I. I kind of wanted a small part of me wanted A Train to redeem himself. I just thought it was gonna be hard. I don't want the deep to be no. redeemed. He doesn't deserve it because he sucks even more now than A Train. Big time. I thought he had potential seasons one and two. Like I thought he was gonna actually have like a redeeming part. Yeah, and because like, of the shit that happened when he got sent off, you know. Yeah, but like now it's just like, oh. No, he's all in. He's like, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. And it's gonna come back and bite him in the ass. I can't wait till he dies. Yeah. Who do you think is gonna do it? I Train. You think A Train? Yeah. They've had a beef they've, that needs to be settled. Like, what if it's Atrian and uh, Starlight? Okay, I can see that one too. You know, like maybe it starts with Starlight, but then maybe something happens, some bullshit happens, and then he deep gets the better hand, but then Atrian comes in. Mm -hmm. mm. What if it's a? Oh, what if it's Atrian, Huey, and Starlight? Okay, I could see that. Yeah, you no. Know? Maybe at first it's no. Huey and Starlight, Don't right? Give me that. Don't give me that. Hold on, the deep doesn't deserve that many fucking people teaming up on him. Ah, oh, shit, you're right. Fuck the Black deep. Noir is there too. Fine. We get a rematch of that. New Black Noir. <laughs> New Black Noir is hilarious. You saw the thing about... Okay. The... Wait, what? Okay, so, you know, Black Noir it ha it has... um, uh, What is it called? Narcoleptic. Yeah, he's narcoleptic, narcoleptic yeah. right? How do you know that? Because I don't know if you know this, but the actor... You do keep up with it? Not so 
like news things about that. Oh, oh, okay. So I don't know if you know this, but the actor who is actually narcoleptic. narcoleptic. Yes. <laughs> and he fell asleep in fucking scenes. I think, uh, do you think if we can go back, you can kind of see it sometimes randomly or no? Probably. That's funny. 